Welcome to tip number five. Today we're going to be looking at links. Generally we'd use a link to uh, open up a website on the internet, so let's get into it. Here's our little pre-made PDF poster that we might want to attach to an email or something like that. Down the bottom here I've got a web address. Now I want to make that active so that when the end user clicks on it, the website that it says it is just pops up. So if we head up here to tools, advanced editing you'll find the link tool so click on that this little plus symbol will become your mouse and if you just click down and drag over the area that you want to become an active link it will do so so this dialog box will pop up and we have a list of options for our link so with our link type we're going to want it to be an invisible rectangle that way it doesn't look ugly with the design that's already been put in place and the highlight style this means how do you want the text to be highlighted when you click down on the address. Invert's pretty standard and does the trick well, so we'll just stick with that. Now we've got a list of link actions that we can choose from. Now we're wanting to open up a web page, so we'll just click on that. And now we'll click next. Now we've got to type in the URL for this link. So down here we've got blueriver.co.nz, and so we're wanting people to click on that and go to the Blue River website. So this is where we put in the Blue River website. So we'll just put dub 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 dot blue river dot co dot nz. Now you make sure this URL is correct. You might want to go to the website and then copy and paste the URL into here just to be extra extra sure. But we'll just pop this in for now. All right, so we'll click OK. Excellent stuff. So now to test our link. Now if we go up here to the hand tool, click on that, and then hover our mouse over our web address where our link should be we'll just double click on that now this security warning may pop up it's just your computer being extra safe and making sure you're not going to any websites that might have viruses or whatnot on them but we of course don't have viruses on this because we just created this link so we'll just click allow and it should go to our website there we go, Blue River .nz. there's our link. And that concludes tip number five of the top 10 Blue River Creative Adobe Acrobat tips. Next week we've got tip number six, which is gonna be all about buttons.